Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wisdom and wit. Shah Abdul Aziz was a great scholar of the Indian subcontinent. Once, for example, he was invited to a certain gathering. He enters the gathering and there's this Christian philosopher around. And he says, Shah Abdul Aziz, I hear that you're a man of great intelligence. Uh, I have a certain question for you, but do not answer me from scripture. Shah Abdul Aziz said, no problem. So the man says that uh, your prophet, his grandson Hussein, he was slaughtered at Karbala. Couldn't your prophet turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make dua for the protection of his, for the protection of his grandson? And so such a slaughter would not have happened. Shah Abdul Aziz pondered and then he said, yes, that's exactly what happened. Our Rasul Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua to Allah for this to be averted. So the Christian man said, then what happened? He says, well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded that, uh, O oh Muhammad, this is your grandson. What about my son? And he was slaughtered by these people. And thus he stumped the Christian man. He used the same wit against the Christian man in the point that you believe in the matter of crucifixion. What is the issue with regards to Hussein being slaughtered at Karbala? Yes, it was a disaster. But look at what you attribute to the supposed son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another time, Shah Abdul Aziz, he was approached by some people. They asked him, is it permissible to pray Salatul Janazah over the prostitute? So he asked her, why? What is the issue? They said, because obviously they engage in this type of behavior. He says, and who comes to them? Is it not the men of this community? Is it not the men of this city? They said, yes. Do you pray Janazah over those men? Yes, we do. And so what would be the difference between those men and the women who provide that service? And thus they understood. Another time, Shah Abdul Aziz, he was asked that, uh, why is it when people come into the gatherings of the ulama and the righteous and the pious, we find that subhanAllah in the religious talks, they fall asleep very, very fast. But when they go to the disco and they go to the nightclub, they remain awake the entire night. So Shah Abdul Aziz said, well, it's like a bed of roses and a bed of thorns. The religious talks, the environment of khair and baraka, they are like the bed of roses. And when one sleeps on a bed of rose, you have a fantastic sleep. But when one is lying down on the bed of thorns, one is unable to sleep. And thus the disco and the nightclub, that's what they are. They are nothing but beds of thorns. Another time, Shah Abdul Aziz, someone came to him and asked him this question, perplexing question. They said that there was this guy, businessman, and he did not want his wife to visit her father. And he says that uh, if you enter the house of your father, you are divorced. Eventually, after some time, the father fell ill and uh, subhanAllah, the father passed away. And so she went to the house. Later on, now the businessman is perplexed, pulling his hairs. He's worried. He loves his wife. She wants to be with him. Did the talaq take place or not? Because the man said, if you step into the house of your father, you are divorced. And so now they're sitting with this question. Shah Abdul Aziz, straight away, he said, no, there's no divorce whatsoever. She can be with him. They can be with one another. No problem at all. They said, what about the issue? What about the, the, the mas'ala? What about this talaq? He says, well, as soon as her father expired, passed away, then technically he ceased to be the owner of that house. And she being the only daughter of this man, she became half the owner of that entire house. So when she entered that property, technically she was entering like her own house. Alhamdulillah. So this was but a little bit of the wisdom of Shah Abdul Aziz. Similarly, with regards to the same family, the family of Shah Waliullah Dehlawi, you had Shah Ismail Shaheed. A man comes to him once and says that, uh, Ya Doktor, Ya Alim, Ya Scholar, you know, there is no benefit with regards to this beard. No benefit. It makes absolutely no sense. And so Shah Ismail Shaheed said, what do you mean? He says, well, look at the baby. If there was any benefit in having the beard, the baby would have been born with the beard. How did Shah Ismail Shaheed respond? He says, oh man, go and remove all of your teeth. The man said, what are you talking about? I'm talking about baby here. I'm talking about beard. You're telling me to remove my teeth. He says, well, according to your logic, then the baby is not born with, with any teeth. And so you should also remove your teeth. You want to remove the beard because the baby has no beard. You should also remove your teeth because the baby is not born with any teeth. Hayyakumullah. This was only but a little bit of the wisdom of that great family. May Allah bless them. Hayyakumullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.